I've built an automatic YouTube system that's saving me hours each and every week. Whenever I post a new video, I have to do the manual work of coming up with titles, timestamps, a description for the video, and so many other assets. But with this automation using N8N, I can click on execute the workflow, enter my video. So let's say I'm going to choose this one here, click on share, copy the link, paste it in, click on submit. The automations will run on the back end using a set of my parameters and agents that I've built. And in a matter of seconds, it's come up with some video titles that I could potentially use, a video description based on the criteria and the way that I usually write my descriptions, as well as suggested timestamps and thumbnail ideas, keywords, and email copy that I could simply take away and start promoting that new YouTube video of mine. And this is just one simple automation that I've created to save me hours each and every week. So in this video, I wanna share with you 10 useful NAN and AI agent ideas and workflows that you can build to save you time. Now, the first step that you are going to wanna take is making sure that you've got access to N8N. What I like to do is self-host it. So I've got my own server online on the cloud that runs these automations so that I'm not paying such a premium through N8N directly. If you head to N8N.io, you can see the pricing. Now this is in euros, build uh, annually, monthly, it looks like this. I'm not sure exactly if I can change the conversion, but that's to give an idea. The way that I like to do it is by self-hosting on a VPS, specifically with Hostinger. So it'll be your own server and you can host these so it's private, and no one else shares it with you. There's quite a few plans to choose from. You can see that the pricing differs quite substantially, and this is a great way, more economic for you in the long run, because if you wanna save time, become more productive, this is a great way to do it by choosing one of the plans to start up with. So KVM4 is, if you wanna run automations and don't want any delays doing so, I recommend the KVM4. And once you're on the checkout, after choosing your plan, choose your period. Of course, the more months you go with, the more you will save and go through some of these options here, select the server location, use the one that's closest to you because this is going to determine, you know, the best latency for you. So if you're located in the United States, pick one that best suits you since this will all be for personal and private use. All right. So down the bottom, you see select the operating system. You want to choose N8N. There's also the N8N with the plus 100 uh, pre-made workflows built in if you do want to choose that. Otherwise, just choose N8N and that's where you want to go with but don't check out yet because I've got a special coupon code that you can use to save further so right here enter in Aurelius I'll also link hosting and N8N in the description box below as well as this coupon code here click on apply it that'll give you a further discount as you can see now I'm not going to run through the whole setup process but if you do want to learn how to set it up in hosting I'll link up a relevant video in the description box below but in this video as I said I want to share 10 useful ideas that you can start with and to spark some ideas for you to get started so that you're not left starting from scratch thinking about what sort of automations can I create using NNN and creating these AI agents. All right, so the first idea is automated content repurposing. So what can happen is you can post a video on YouTube and then what NNN can do is it will transcribe it. Then it generates blog posts, tweets, LinkedIn updates, all using ChatGPT on the back end. And one piece of content really does can fuel the multiple platforms automatically. For example, I found this automation in N8N called Automate Instagram Content Discovery and Repurposing. And you can see what it can do just to give you a little bit of context on some of the things that it can do. If you look down the bottom on any of these automations, it monitor competitive Instagram accounts, downloads the new reels and processes them without manual intervention. And it does the script generation, duplication, multi-platform intelligence. And by the way, if you do want to take a look at some of the automations that are readily available at N8N, just go to N8N. And then we're going to go to templates. There's 5,684 workflow automations automation templates to choose from. These are some trending ones. But check out this one. We're still talking about idea number one. This is automate multi-platform social media content creation with AI. I simply went to the workflows and searched for social media automation. And then this is one of the ones that popped up. Look at this. This is free to use. And if you take a look at this, we're going to zoom in just a little bit. 
you know, it's quite comprehensive, right? But just to zoom out, like this is the complexity that is involved with this automation. And this can be quite overwhelming, especially if you don't know how to set up your first AI agent, but start with what you only need, and then you can kind of progress from there, in my opinion. So down the bottom, there's always like this description, social media managers and digital marketers seeking to streamline content production across seven plus platforms. So quite impressive there. And the best part is it's free. But that's just one idea. If this is something that's taking you a lot of time, let's say you're posting on YouTube, but then you want to repurpose that content and post it onto other platforms, this is a great way to do it using N8N. By the way, in order to use any of the workflows in N8N, all you need to do is head to your hosting a VPN, create a new workflow, and you'll have this blank canvas. So once you've found one, click on Use. What you can do then is copy the template to clipboard. And this is just one of the multiple ways that you can do it. And then all you need to do on your keyboard is paste it in. So on my Mac, it's Command V. And there we go. We've got the entire workflow ready to go. And all we need to do now is fill in the details. So if you haven't connected your Google account, for instance, then you're going to want to do that so that it has access essentially to your Google account and your open AI. So it really depends which workflow you are using from N8N. The next idea is scraping business emails from Google Maps without the use of any third-party APIs. And this is the specific automation that I found in N8N and it does exactly what name suggests. It will scrape the emails rather than going to each and every business listing on Google Maps uh, and then you copying and pasting every single email to contact them. So rather than that, you can create this automation that does it all for you. And as mentioned, you don't need any third-party APIs that you need to plug into N8N. The third idea is also social media related, but with this, if you're currently using, let's say, Google Sheets or Excel or Notion, what you can do is you can batch schedule posts in those apps and let N8N auto-publish them to places like X, LinkedIn, and Instagram. So it's a must-have if you're, you know, you want to stay consistent with branding uh, without juggling multiple apps. And this doesn't necessarily Necessarily have to be in Notion or Google Sheets, but I think that's just a simple way since most of you are probably using Notion or Excel yourself. So import everything into Notion and then create an automation that will automatically post all those onto those platforms. All right, the next idea is to create like a daily business dashboard. So each morning you get a single summary of, you know, your emails, you get a Slack message with sales from Stripe or your PayPal account. You get also a little notification or a section where you can see new subscribers of yours on places like YouTube, on Instagram, on your email marketing platform. So at one glance, you know, on your platform, you can see everything without logging to dozens of or, you know, multiple platforms in at once. So every morning, check that one dashboard and you've got everything there. All this can be automated using N8N. Idea number five is to create an AI agent so that you're creating like this content idea inbox. So every time you voice note, let's say on your phone, you can run an automation. So you can actually hook up WhatsApp or Telegram. And then when you create a voice message, N8N can then transcribe it, send it to your content idea page or workspace or database in your Notion account or whatever platform that you organize all your things. And that way, no ideas get lost. So there are plenty of times when I think about an idea, I'm like, oh, just need something where I can just quickly voice something. And then that will automatically put it into my project management workspace. You know, what if something existed, then this is a great solution, right? By using the power of N8N to simply voice chat on WhatsApp or whatever communication and chat program you use and then that automatically stores it to your favorite project management system. The next idea is an AI agent for idea validation. So every time you add a video idea to, again, your favorite project management system, such as Notion, in it and then runs it through GPT or ChatGPT to score it on like, let's say, search potential, tension hook and monetization fit, whether it's viable as an idea and then helps you prioritize the best ideas fast. So rather than doing all the guesswork, you can simply enter your idea and then it'll run through all these criteria and then give you the green lights or the red light 
this is a good idea or not a good idea or something that can just be put on the back burner. Okay, idea number seven is creating like a news aggregator or something where each and every day on a daily basis, they send you the latest news, which is one great use of NN really. So in the NN workflow section, you can say something like uh, news, and then you'll find a list of workflows that you could potentially use to do that. Let's be more specific and say news headlines. We've got a couple here and let's say you are a regular reader of Hacker News, right? And there's quite a few here. Hacker News to video content, not quite what we want, but you can do other things like get data from Hacker News and send it to Airtable or via SMS. So these kinds of things that you can do to aggregate, you know, gather all those news, especially if you're in the field where you're posting content about the latest things about in your industry. So this is extremely useful or if you just want to, you know, feed your knowledge with what's happening today. Number eight is automatic Gmail email labeling. And a lot of emails probably going into your inbox and it's not sorted, it's not organized. So a great way to do it is by creating an automation that automatically categorizes and labels it all using the power of AI. You can see how the automation works and who's this for? It's an inbox. Uh, it's for those with an inbox full of unread emails and instead of reading through them one by one, uh, you can let AI do the sorting and here's how it works. So every hour the workflow runs automatically, searches for unread emails and then what it does is it extracts the content and sends it to OpenAI. Then the AI returns one of four labels, action receipt. So all of these automations that you find in the workflows and the templates do work differently depending on what you want. But the great thing with NNN is it's completely flexible to, you know, however you choose, like however you want the automation to work, but use it as a starting ground and personalize it based on the activities that you use it for and for your daily process. All right, number nine, this one's a great one. Extract and store YouTube video comments in Google Sheets. And if you're doing a bit of research into and wanting to know what do my audience seek? What are their problems? What are they facing? So that I could potentially create a new video on those subjects, or I could potentially create an offer or a product or a digital product that solves that problem. You can do it all using this particular and free in it in workflow. All right, so this in it in template demonstrates how to use a tool and here's how it works. The workflow starts when you manually click test flow. Uh, it reads a list of YouTube video URLs from the YouTube from the video URLs and then it reads the comments, puts it into Google Sheets. And the great thing about these automations is that it does give you a set of instructions and what you need uh, prerequisites -requ before you actually get started. The great thing about NNN is that once you do the hard yards of actually creating the AI agent, the rest is quite passive. It runs on the back end whenever you need it. And finally, number 10, this one is also kind of news related, but if you're, let's say, getting on a call with a client or a company this one scrapes recent news about a company before a call so it may be a really important call for you let's say an interview or you're working with a new client and you want to build trust this is a great way because it's going to scrape uh, the web for news, recent news about that company. And then it'll give you a summary of all those things. So these again are the steps and this is how the automation looks. But to give you an idea, it gets a meeting for today. It has some filters in place, extracts the company name, the news and then it formats the email so that it sends it ultimately via email so that you get a gist of everything that you need to learn about that company and the latest news of course in your email and that's just a fraction of the kinds of n8n automations that you can build using n8n and hosting it on your own server i'll list all of these workflows that i found in the description box below hosting a link will be in the description box below so you can sign up create your own n8n server and get started but hopefully that sparks some ideas to create your own AI agents. I'll link up this video right here that will guide you on how I actually set up my own YouTube automation system. So I'll see you there.